What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what? For a chance to win a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So, you want to let them know when we're doing today? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> so, as you can see, there's a laptop in front of us, and that is because we are going to be watching a live birth video. Now, Isaiah has never seen a live birth, and honestly, I don't think I've seen anything close to like an actual birth. Like I've seen diagrams or whatever. So this is going to be the first time for both of us. How do you feel? I'm very scared because this is going to let me know if I'm ready to be in that room with you or not. I <laughs> like, like, I'm scared. <laughs> a lot of dads don't really watch the actual it's birth not, of their baby. It's not going to be. No, like I, I want to see the birth of my baby. What I think is going to be hard is you screaming and like in pain and all that. I'm going to be like on the doctor's like asses like can you make sure she's okay why is she screaming like that is that supposed to look like that like i'm gonna be going crazy at the doctor and, who knows yeah. i might not i hope you don't because if you don't i'm pretty sure i'll be able to handle everything without a problem okay. but this video i guess is gonna let me know what really goes down so without further ado guys this video is about like five and a half minutes long we have not seen this video obviously and i guess let's get into it oh i'm scared are you ready i think all right, let's play this. <laughs> Daddy's here. At first, mom to be Lisa thought she'd try labor without the help of an epidural, the okay. most common type of pain relief used in childbirth. She gonna get that epidural. Wait, wait, what's an epidural? An epidural is a shot, pretty much, that goes in your spine that basically like paralyzes you from Ooh. pretty much like the waist down, so you don't feel anything when you give birth. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't trust that. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're gonna do that. I don't know because every pregnant woman always goes, "Oh, I don't want an epidural." And then when the when that why the contractions they kick in, why, why wouldn't, wouldn't they? Yeah, why wouldn't they want it? Because the epidural hurts and it comes with a lot of risks. And okay, now is there a risk of like you being permanently paralyzed? Yes, there is. You're, I don't want you doing that. <laughs> I really don't want you Yeah, to but that. like in that moment, it's just like, oh my God. you gotta do it. Alright. <laughs> her husband, Rob, supported her decision either way. Shut up, Rob. She asked several times. They're young. Weeks, yeah, you can tell they're young. Finally, I said yes. Epidurals are usually See? given once Look. you're in the active stage of labor. An anesthesiologist places a <laughs> you. to your back so that the medication can flow through it to bathe the nerves. That's like your straight spine. in your spine. The <laughs> anesthetic and narcotic solution blocks the pain signals being sent to the brain and numbs your body from the waist down. Within 20 minutes of starting the epidural, Lisa's pain eases and she feels calm and relieved. So at this point, she can't move her legs under that? No. Bro, that's scary. Why would you want to feel that? I, I don't want to know what that feels like. I don't care how relaxed I am. I still want to move my legs. Yeah, you say that until you're pushing the whole Wait thing. Wait a minute, time out. This don't make sense. <laughs> this is a scam. If you can't feel anything from the waist down, how are you supposed to push? How are you supposed to know you're pushing if you can't feel anything? That's why a lot of people poop themselves. They don't know. You poop yours? <laughs> yeah, it's, it hasn't been bad. The past couple hours have actually been... I'm sure it has. Um, <laughs> No pain, mm. no discomfort, really. Mm. Just getting ready for the baby. Lisa has two doctors helping her. If she had no pain, then why are you getting an epidural? At Bryn Mawr Hospital in alone. Pennsylvania. But she said she, she didn't feel right pain now, at all. She is contracting every one, two, about every two to three, two to three, two to, three, two to four minutes. Ah. Is a contract a contraction? That's a cramp, basically? A very bad cramp, yes. Okay. The contractions that I can feel are more of a tingling sensation than a painful sensation. Mm. I don't feel all of them anymore. Okay. Dr. Philip Hirschman is supervising her labor, Shut and her baby will be delivered by oh, Dr. Joseph Pistelli. That's close to us. I'm looking at the clock, and I'm like, okay, we're ready, and I'm, I'm not freaked out, I'm not in any pain, I'm not anxious. We'll get the squeezing. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a much more Let's get the little sucker out. Yeah. I think we should fast forward to the actual birth part. No. Safe and effective. But like all gist. medical procedures, they come with certain risks. Make oh, sure you talk to your doctor about whether an epidural is right for you. Does the um, epidural make anybody itchy? Most people. It does. It's that fentanyl and that continuous epidural. And fentanyl. it's not allergic to it, but it just is. makes you that's itch. The, um, Nine times out of ten, that's a pain reliever. And it's the trough. It's the belly. The most common and minor side effect of an epidural is itchiness. Ew, I hate feeling itchy. Chest. Ooh, baby, you got eczema. 
Yeah, I do got eczema. Yeah. Why do you put my business out there like that? Ooh, you're gonna be scratchy. <laughs> the, Ooh. the itching disappears. That's why I don't take C4. Epidural wears off. That's pretty much Because workout. an epidural <laughs> makes C4. it hard to feel contractions and know when to bear down. It can make pushing more difficult. Get to it. The density of the epidural, how thick the feeling is to wear off a little bit so that mom has a little bit more of a sense of urge to Yo, push. birth is such now a long process. Now that to 10 Bird. centimeters. Whoa, 10 centimeters, let's go. Push. She gets coaching from her nurse and support from Rob. Here Yo, her legs are like spaghetti. They're just like... I told you, you can't feel it. Look. When a patient's an epidural with pushing, they need help with the... Oh! Also they got it all out there. I didn't think they were gonna show all this. Oh uh, well, what do you think? Where do you think the baby came out of? Her belly button. Once I could feel where the pressure was, and <laughs> to, um, gauge my pushes towards that pressure. Oh my god! It was just um, tiring. Bro, that's so scary. Yo, your vagina turns into like a tunnel. Yo, that that jungle. You saw. Like I can stick my whole arm up in there and be like, hello. Yeah. I could grab scary. the baby myself. Oh my god. As the Ooh. baby's scalp appears, Dr. Castelli arrives to guide Lisa through the final stages of pushing. After 45 minutes of well paced pushing, her baby is almost here. Bro, nice. that is so That's scary. Look at her. That, that. Her booty! Bring that baby from underneath that pubic bone. <gasps> Just a nice gentle push. Good job. Okay. Good job. You saw his head come out? The baby's nose oh. and mouth are suctioned. That's a cute baby. Okay, why they just got the head poking out and nothing but the head poking out? Because that's, that's, that's how it is. Like, okay, but I why don't you get the baby out? It looks like because, that's like suffocating the baby. No, because I think it's a process. I think the head comes out first. You take off the umbilical cord if it's like around the neck. You have to make sure that it's not around the neck. Then you tw twist it and then you pull. Yo. Yeah. Yo. That's how that goes. Okay, we got one. Oh, you see, you see, you see, you see? Cord. They're taking the umbilical cord, cord around. It was around the neck. Okay, without pulling, would you give a little push? Ay, yo. Okay, good. You can you stop. You go, me. girl. You better That's push. It. Yo, she is pushing. You go, girl. Gently guide the baby out. That baby coming out with no problem. And Look at Yo, he's so mad small. Oh. girl. Oh. There it is. Already. She's like nothing, like. Already, already in this world and already crying. Get ready, kid. It gets worse. The doctor stitches up a small tear to her perineum that occurred during delivery. I was gonna say that she ripped the. So a lot of the times, like it'll rip all the way to your booty hole. What rips? What do you mean? Your private? The whole thing rips. You know that space in between your booty and the private? That whole thing rips open. And you gotta get that stitched up. Hey yo! What? Yeah, that's crazy, right? You know how uncomfortable that's gonna be healing oh, when I yeah. get my feeling back in my legs. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh my god! But I did hear. Is that. this common? Yes, very common. Yo, that shout out to, to all the women, women, bro. I feel bro. like y'all don't get enough credit. Yeah. That's just. Hey yo! And then people are like, "Oh, why? Why are you scared to have a kid?" What do you mean? I'm have scared you to have a kid and I'm not the one that has to go through that. I'm scared yeah, it's so scary. Like This I don't... whole time I got chills, bro. I'm a local anesthetic. Like all the fluids, it's like, ugh. So scary. Thanks to her epidural. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, I'm crying. I think she's crying. I'm going to be crying soon. Oh, Hello, I'm Joel. She was born in 1154. And she is 6 pounds, 11 ounces. Oh, she's and really she's little. Tiny. She looks great. One hour How after you? delivery, the effects of Lisa's epidural are wearing off. I don't have a headache. My right side of my body got a lot more epidural, and it's taking a little bit longer for that one to get back to normal. There's a sensation like pins and needles, but without the pain that goes along with pins and needles, it's just like... That dad is way too calm, bro. I'd have been jumping up and down. I would have been taking pictures. I'm like, yo, look my child. Oh, I'm going to be mad at that. I'm going to be so hyper. Listen, childbirth is insane. I'm not gonna lie though, they were probably they was probably in labor for mad long. Like they probably exhausted. I don't know because like the whole process of getting to the hospital, it's the dilation that takes the longest time. Like dilating until you're ten what centimeters. The hell is it, you don't know what that means. What is dilate? Because I think dilating, I think like pupils. Okay, you see how your pupil goes like this. Okay. So all right, I guess. Yeah. So, an epidural was a great option. 
Oh, 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 but look at that face. No, it's a cute baby, right? It's a cute baby. It just makes you like be like, yeah, whatever. Oh, <laughs> that's tiny, look yo. at those hands, I can't. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yo, I'm, I'm just like so sad right now. <laughs> yo, see that? I don't, it's not even the childbirth that like scares me. It's more so like you. Cause the baby gonna have no problem. The baby gonna be like, like, hello, peekaboo, I'm here, and then, but it's you going through all the pain. Dude, I, I, I don't think I would even be able to see myself giving birth because the whole time I'm gonna be like, Ooh, that's what scares me Ooh, is you. That's what scares me a lot. It's like I hope that you're okay because if you're not okay, then the baby won't be okay. That's true. Cause like you gotta push that little baby out. I heard though, like if you're flexible. It makes birth easier, like giving birth. I don't but know. I'm not sure because I have a lot of like you know stuff going on with my endo, so I don't know, I don't know how. Don't they make your endo better though? I heard that pregnancy makes endometriosis better, so if that's the case, we won't be popping them out. <laughs> well, I guess we start tonight. What? Boy? <laughs> All right, well, I mean, okay, I, I saw a live birth for the first time, and honestly, I'm so stressed out about it. I'm sure you guys can tell about my body language, but... I get so weirded out with stuff like that just because, like, in my head, that just doesn't happen. Like, it's just not real. Like, and then watching it... So you think it, babies just spawn in? No, <laughs> I know like, oh. how the process goes, obviously, but it's like, until you watch something like that, you don't realize the extremity of it. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, you're scared. I'm like scared. you're about to give birth. Like I'm scared, but it's like once it's over with, it's gonna be like, all right, I'm good now. Let's go to the park, son. I can't. <laughs> I mean, sometimes C sections are better, That's, easier. I don't know. That's all on you at that point. I'm not sure, but if you guys have given birth already, let me know if you like experience C sections and vaginal birth. Yeah. Like, let me know how it's been. And, and like, let us know like what made everything easier. What worked for you guys to like comfort you and all that? Because I gotta make sure she's as comfortable as possible whenever that time comes. Because <laughs> if she's not comfortable, I'm not gonna be comfortable. Okay? I'm gonna pass out. I don't wanna be. That dad. It's crazy because my mom actually had C-sections. That was breached. Yeah, because you want to be dancing up in the <laughs> room. You just can't be a normal child. Come out head first. You just got to come out feet first. Yeah, so I can't ask my mom, like, how was childbirth? Because Is there a possibility, like, the kid could come out, like, arm first? Like, he reaches out first? What do you think this is? I'm I don't serious, know. I'm serious because the baby's in there doing flips and stuff. Obviously, you were. You came out feet first. I'm I don't saying, think like, so. What if, like, you look in the, like, the JJ and... Boom, no, see, like, because the arm like, how you gonna do that? So with childbirth, like you have to like rotate. How are you gonna much. rotate the baby? Or you gotta rotate yourself? Yeah, the baby has to rotate. How's the baby gonna rotate if it's like, you know what? I'm asking way too many questions. That's the that's the whole point. That's when you know like you're fully dilated and ready. When the baby turns, that's when you're like, okay, ready to go. And I never did that. Well, I guess at that point, you see an arm coming out, you don't have to push his arm back in and be like, yo, we're doing a C-section at this point. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that's what I was saying. I'm like, nope, he got his arm out. Nope, put it back in. I'm sorry. You're insane. That's not how it goes. Yeah, we're on delayed delivery. <laughs> so, All right. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's video and you guys thought we reacted the way you guys thought we were going to react, let us know down below. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. Anything else you want to say? No, honestly, I feel like people are going to be like, you're immature, blah, blah, blah. I don't guys. care if you call me immature, man. I'm learning as I go. That's the well, point of life. You learn as you go. Yeah, me too, though. Like, I've never even... Why would I, wait, time out. Why would I be immature? I didn't say it was gross or anything like that. That's natural. That's nature. Well, I'm just more so... Like, <laughs> no, I'm more so, like, scared and shocked that, yeah. one, the JJ turns into, like, a tunnel. And then the exit, you know, the other end also becomes a tunnel yeah so, i didn't know that i saw that and i was like oh hold that's on. crazy that's how but, people be going poo poo yeah but it's natural so it is what it is yeah but honestly i'm crazy. just more so shocked than anything but yeah shout out to all the moms in the world today's post notification shout out to all of y'all like y'all really the goats and i feel like y'all don't get enough credit so just shout out to all y'all with all that being said we'll see you guys in the next video